Okay, so let me just take a look at the contracts. Got a flyby Eve. Might as well pick that up. Position satellite. Complete the Duna 4 rally. One inch, okay, reading it is pointless. The flyby of Minmus, Ike, Duna, and Moon using a single vessel. Huh. Well, we just went to Duna. We've spent a lot of time on Duna, but that's tempting. And they've, they're giving us 101 years to do it. <laughs> they're giving us 101 years to do it. Okay, I'll take it. Explore Gilly. Well, we've got the Eve flyby contract. So yeah. I haven't done any of the tourist contracts. But I guess that's not a thing that this space agency does. We've got Gerby Kerman and Gerburi Kerman. Well, they're gonna have to wait. Alright, so we've got Eve, we've got this contract, and we got Gilly. Uh, do it. Do the rally. Yeah. Okay. Um, solar sails. Well, if you if you install the interstellar mod, then uh, I mean KSP interstellar, then you'll get solar sails. Build some SSTO plane in 1.0.2. Tips about getting to orbit would be handy. Have you seen my sandbox EDB series? Because I built the GBN and that gets into orbit just fine. Um, you send all tourists into the sun hoping they stop appearing. I don't think that's the way to go about it, but... Okay, um... We haven't been to EVE yet, so I think that's the priority. And then we'll do the Duna 4 rally afterwards. I would like to have some more EVE contracts, though. This is a bit simplistic. We, we I would like an Explore EVE contract if they'd be willing to give it to me. But we can use the same rocket, right? Have I seen the Bill Nye Solar Sail Kickstarter? Yes, I have. Yes, I've uh, and you know I've uh, seen all, I I follow Bill Nye on Twitter, so yes, I've seen all of his stuff on the Solar Sail and uh, the whole Planetary Society thing. You backed it, excellent. Uh, I think he said he had five hundred thousand. I saw a tweet recently. So let me build it. I don't know if I can complete the mission uh, today. Uh, let's build it. You don't do Twitter. Yeah, uh, that's the one thing Twitter is good for, is following the important people in life, or if you will, depending on who you consider important. Okay. We don't intend to bring this back. From Eve. Maybe we can bring it back. Let's, let's say we bring it back. With... Very small ghillie like engine. So this is for ghillie, right? We don't need anything particularly strong for it. We just need a. Well, we could probably land it on a tail if we're not going to bring it back, but if we can't bring it back, we need landing struts. Okay. Barometer. And I won't forget the antenna, don't worry. EDB shuttle is not SSTO. No, the GBN, the first episode of the of the what you got uh, sandbox CDB series my rockets are so tiny I'll tell you in realism overhaul with the real earth uh, the mainstay engine the most important engine in the whole thing is a one kilonewton thruster uh, that gets you everywhere uh, you just need to get something with enough fuel and a one kilonewton thruster into orbit and then your probe is all set it can do anything um, at least, not not landing on everything, of course, but uh, still, it can uh, do all the flybys. Small engines are the way to go sometimes. Let's see how much. Uh, just as an example, let's see how much delta v this thing has. One thousand eight hundred and seventy-three. This is one thousand eight hundred and seventy-three meters per second of delta v. So yeah, I think that's done. That's all we need. Uh, and an antenna. And solar panels. Uh, I, I occupied my normal solar panel slot. Mm, still can use it, probably. Yes, math. 
<laughs> Sometimes. I think that should do. I'll put some more solar panels. You can't go wrong with having more solar panels. Let me get... Uh, turn symmetry off. Uh, turn uh, snapping off there. One here and one on the opposite side here. Okay. That is our probe. 1.2 tons. Okay, that looks pretty good as sort of a pseudo nose cone. I'm sure it's going to catch more drag than I like. You put it on basically every probe. The It used to be the best engine for me, but uh, if we're going to be landing on Gilly, we don't need much thrust. And, uh, you know, this one has two, so it'll definitely work out. Uh, this has only 300 vacuum ISP. This has 315. So it's not only heavier, it's also got worse ISP. Now, the downside of this is it's got no gimbling. But we've got a reaction wheel that could probably handle that, so I'm not worried. Okay, so that's that's spoken for. Um, I need another inline stabilizer because it won't be able to handle the rest of the rocket without that. Okay. Next stage, LV-909. Let me calculate how much Delta V we've got there. Yeah, they nerfed it. The 48.7S was the best. Now they, now it's just eh. 3,410. Might be a little bit too heavy for it though. So you guess the maximum speed before switch engines is not really a good idea anymore. Um, I can't make, I don't think there's a general rule, but I've been getting to pretty high speed with the, with the SSTO designs I've been doing uh, at uh, 20, I switch at 28 kilometers. I've been able to get to 28 kilometers, but I'm using the rapier. So using the rapier, I can switch at 28 kilometers from, uh, from jet to rocket, but with a mixed sort of thing, I don't know. With just uh, turbo jets, it is turbo jets, right? Oh, I don't even have them, probably. Yeah, I have. Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is like without the rapiers. I've only been using the rapiers. Okay, I'm trying to get the least amount of rocket I need for this mission, and so that's why I'm taking pains to calculate it all out. That could probably launch it and get over to. Eve just fine. But let me give it a little bit more measure. Okay, you think uh, uh, you have the rapier too, but before you get to 1300 meters per second, you overheat it. Ah. Uh, there is a part. I don't have it here. Hold on. Uh, let, me, let me call this Eve mission. Let me see if I can show you the part that is essential for uh, figuring that part out. Managed to land with half a plane, wow. Let's see. There is a part, a pre-cooler. There's a pre-cooler part. Probably at the top end of things. Here, this one. Engine pre-cooler. That's what you want. So, improves jet performance by pre-compressing and rapidly cooling the intake air. That will get you, uh, that will prevent you from overheating so that you can get faster. Okay, pretty confident that this is way overpowered for the mission, but we're getting a ton of funds for it, so I think it'll be okay. I've got antenna on, I've got lander legs, um, Eve, we know that we can uh, re we can air brake at 70 kilometers. Learned recently that launch clamps provide electric charge to the vessel. Yeah, uh, they might have added that in. I I can't remember because in Realism Overhaul they've done that for a long time, so I don't know if that's a new thing in stock or not. Because I can't sort out. Sometimes I can't sort out the difference between uh, where stock ends and Realism Overhaul begins. Anyway, okay, uh, we've got on a launch pad but, this pad, but this is a bad idea because we aren't in the right phase angle. 
we aren't in the right phase angle. Okay, and that's gonna take a long time. Oh well. Here goes nothing. At least we didn't take any uh, missions that had a short duration. We've got plenty of time to fill the stuff that we've got there. Chart, what's my resource? You use that. Um, I actually calculated all of them by hand and I made a chart. <laughs> That, 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 that was my resource. I know the equation for phase angle and I calculated them all out. Uh, it may or may not have been before there were easy online resources. At least I didn't know about them at the time. Yeah, I, I actually, could I give you the equation? Yeah. Um, hold on, I don't want to make mistakes. So, uh, okay. The radius of... Actually, maybe I should just, um, hold on, let me stop time warping first. I have 1.25 million, did I? Okay, I think that's 30, uh, 54, that's 54. Okay, now, Grizzbiz, uh, I do have a video I, where I talk about it, it is in one of the beta tutorial videos, but anyway, uh, take the original orbit you're in, which would be Kerbin's orbit, let's say, so orbit one, the radius of it from the center, so this line here, so distance from the center of the sun or center of whatever you're orbiting, okay, so that distance, add it to the distance of your target, in this case Eve, so R1 plus R2, okay, then divide by two times your target orbit, so two times R2, R1 plus R2 divided by two times R2, to the 1.5 power then that number do 1 minus that and then multiply by 180 I hope that's clear so R1 plus R2 divided by 2 times R2 take that number to the 1.5 power and then 1 minus that number times 180 but it is in the video in my beta tutorial series Okay, one, yeah, I've got a lot of funds. And it's 902,000. This is hard mode. That's why it's not 300. Uh, oh, uh, three, uh, you were talking about the buffer. Let's do this mission first. How about that? I mean, we've got the mission ready on the launch pad. Let's just do the mission, and then we'll upgrade. Throttle up. SAS is on. I hope while talking, I haven't forgotten something critical here. Let's find out. Here we go. Okay, uh, looking good so far. Relatively new rocket. Nothing too fancy, obviously. But there is weird drag on the nose because the probe is so complicated. Oh, crud. Really? Really, we're doing this again? Well, forget this. I can power up right through this. I've got so much power on this thing, the atmosphere can't touch me, really. Oh boy. Why are you straying this side? Come on, come on. Vertical stabilizers. Not vertical stabilizers, uh, winglets is correct. Vertical stabilizers is a different thing. The vertical stabilizer uh, wouldn't be as... Well, yeah, it's a different part of an airplane. You guess I'll cut the mass part out for for my YouTube. Um, depends, probably. I mean, uh, but I mean, it's not like I'm afraid of putting math in a video, right? What does math in a video do for watch time? Well, you know, sometimes you gotta have to bite the bullet, right? <laughs> I, yeah. If I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not overly concerned, actually. I just, I just do what I do and hope somebody likes it.
Hmm. Electric charge seem to be doing something weird here. What we talking about? We are sending a probe to Eve. Uh, we are still in the atmosphere. I forgot about that. Okay. Give me some more thrust. Prograde. There we go. That's better. Okay, let's see if I can make a transfer without uh, completing my orbit. I don't think I need to lift my periapsis. I think I can... No, I do have to lift my periapsis. Darn it. Okay. Nope, I'd have to burn from there anyway. I'm being very cautious about uh, time warping while you guys are talking all sorts of interesting things. Okay. Otherwise I'm liable to miss what I'm trying to do. Okay, now let's plot. Oh, not bad, not bad. Oh, not good, not good. Uh, okay, we'll need a mid-course adjustment here. Okay, there we go. Alright, well let's correct the rest of the inclination. It seems like the best way to go. This is the parts that I'd normally cut out of the YouTube video, obviously. Math is not quite as much a problem. Okay, I'll take that for now. Is it a safe idea to make a probe with a, the grabber that will rescue and do orbit stranded kerbals? No. <laughs> you can talk to Danny24. Is it 62 or 82? 2462. Uh, about that one. Yeah, the claw grabber is a dangerous thing, as uh, Danny has definitely proven. Can I get out there without math? Can I get there without math? Um, you know, that's a very complicated question. Because, I mean, are we talking about if I had never learned any math? Who's Danny? He makes videos regarding uh, certain uh, Kerbal death inducing glitches <laughs> and other other mayhap. Yeah, you, you should check. Uh, you, you'll probably like his videos actually I think. They are really good. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know how to answer the question, can I get out there without math? Yeah, no clue. You have to use the grabber to rescue the vessels from missions, right? I, I haven't gotten any of those missions. What makes... Uh, I have no idea what the maximum temperature for Kerbals is. That's a good question. Uh, anybody know that one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we just did that sort of mission uh, here. We EVA'd the stranded Kerbal into our rescue pod, right? But there are docking ports, right? Docking ports are a thing. You can just dock the vessel. Not all stranded vessels have docking ports. Yeah, then uh, EVA for the stranded Kerbals. There are a kind of mission you need to get the vessel back. Ah, okay. Then it's either docking port or claw, right? Oh, I don't have a mods com command. I don't have a mods command. And I don't have any mods, so it doesn't matter. That's why I don't have a mods command. Well, that looks pretty lined up with our target uh, path, but we're not hitting... Oh, no, it might be just the inclination fooling with me. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Looks like the mid... Well, let me... Let me... Yeah, let me replot the mid-course maneuver. I don't trust it. We want 70 kilometers for air braking. But I might not be going in the right direction. Uh, I've, uh, Gilly must be going in the opposite direction. I'll correct uh, the rest of it later. Let's go to mid-course plane change.
Uh, can you get the to the ninth planet Pluto without math? The ninth planet Pluto without math. No, <laughs> I'm just gonna say no. Uh, you can say no, 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 no. Just no. Hmm. Lots of disappointing chat here. Uh, you can get to every math without planet. The guy who makes vids has a definite pattern to his logic. Should I even read chat anymore? Okay, let me get to escape because this is... Okay, here we go. Interplanetary space. Did that mess up our even counter? No. Okay. I don't have uptime uh, there either. I guess I'll just uh, perform the functions of Nightbot. Uh, I've been uh, streaming for 2 hours and 36 minutes. How about that? Okay, here we go. Plane change. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I was just trying to figure out why you're talking about that, Grisbiz. It's you and a guy who makes vids this time. You guys are uh, entertaining me, apparently. Uh, definitely entertaining me. Because people are scared of electricity and they shouldn't be. Yeah, okay, that's good logic right there. I can accept that one. There are a lot of things that people are afraid of and they shouldn't be. A little bit of knowledge would uh, would go a long way for that. So we're eventually going to try and land this on Gilly. So I should probably have that in mind. And Gilly is going counterclockwise like this and we're going around the wrong direction. Really? How is this looking? This is looking bad. Okay. Higher volts throw you back. Uh, well, I do not know enough about exactly what happens when you do something you probably shouldn't be doing to really comment on that. Stay safe, people. Stay safe. And, but learn about it. Okay, is that 70 kilometers? Could probably go higher. Last time it was too tight for a ghillie encounter. Okay, well, 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 I'll fix it on the actual burn. Okay. Do I have to, like, take some sort of action here? Seriously? This is a family friendly channel. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm getting the feeling I'm not being very entertaining because you guys are going all like this. So. I'm gonna say we've got a probe that is gonna approach Eve and we will find out what happens to it tomorrow. Okay, so so yeah, I'm gonna quit it right here. I'm getting tired myself, so yep. Uh Sunday 1 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. GMT. And then I'll pick this up. Because right now uh, I am... I'm getting a little bit tired. Well, there's no way I can land this thing. Well, okay, it is Gilly. I could probably land this thing. But, yeah. Let, let's pick it up uh, tomorrow. And then we'll see how this goes. It's a cliffhanger, right? It's, cliffhangers are good. Yep, Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. GMT. And I'll see you tomorrow, alright? And we'll complete this mission. I'm going to space center it now. And, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching.